Cobb has hosted this show, I said, what a great gig. I get to make millionaires. Well, here, here we are, our 42nd show. Still no millionaires. Now, can the streak be broken? Well, Troy Clifton from Virginia Beach, Virginia, thinks that it can. He is 13 questions away from ending the drought. Welcome back to you, Troy. Thank you, man. 13 questions away. What are you going to do if you win the million? Well, on my wish list, there's a truck, a boat, and my wife is a little bit high maintenance, so probably something really sparkly along that line. But <laughs> you got to get to the high level. So you're going to have to pay for that comment, high maintenance. She's going to want a lot, day. at least diamonds. Yes. As I said, you're 13 questions away from winning a million. You've won 200. You know the rules. You know the lifelines. You ready to play? Let's play. Audience, you ready? You got all those lifelines, too, Troy. Going for 300. According to its label, Murphy Oil Soap safely cleans what surface? Cement, marble, wood, glass. I'm leaning towards wood. I'd like to ask the audience. You want to ask the audience? Okay, audience, Troy needs your help. Using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Ninety-five percent think that it's wood. They heard you say that you were leaning that way, but still. First instincts are normally the best. I'll go with the audience. C, wood, final answer. In this case, you're right. They get up to 300. <laughs> According to an old saying, possession is nine-tenths of the what? Law, business, pleasure, battle. A, law, final answer. Yes, for $500. Going for a thousand. By definition, a nocturne is a work of art depicting what? Day, night, heaven, nature. Let's go with the night. Final answer. How does a thousand dollars sound? You pretty good. good. Uh, <laughs> a guy in the audience yelling, "Win that million! You bring him with you?" Yeah, I have a guy here. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, you got a fan over here. Going for 2,000, two lifelines left, 10 away. Since 1983, who has been the sole anchor of NBC Nightly News? Tom Brokaw, Bernard Shaw, Ted Koppel, David Brinkley. I have it down to Tom Brokaw, Ted Koppel, Nightly News. I think that's a later edition, but I'll use my 50 50. I'll use your 50 50? Okay, computer, please randomly take away two of the wrong answers, leaving one wrong answer and the correct one. Okay. Sole anchor of NBC Nightly News. I'll go with C, Ted Koppel. Final answer. Final answer. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, Troy. It was Tom Brokaw. Uh, Ted's with ABC. You're also learning to play guitar, huh? Yes, I'm learning to play the guitar. And why the guitar? Um, because I have always loved the guitar, and I'm completely tone deaf, so I'm not very good. Well, I hope you're better at Millionaire. I hopefully, bet you are. Hopefully. You know the rules, you know the lifelines? Yes. Ready to play? Yes. All right, then let's yes. play Millionaire. Go so for $100, Deb. When the U.S. national anthem is played, it is customary for men to remove their what? Hats, jackets, neckties, toupees. <laughs> the answer is A, hats. Final answer. Yes, for $100. Oh, for 200 What is the nationality of children's book character Harry Potter? German, American, English, French. Um, I believe the answer is C, English. Final answer. Right again for $200. $300, Headgear is a device often worn by teenagers to help do what? Lose weight, straighten teeth, prevent sunburn, improve hearing. I had braces for years, so I think the answer is B, straighten teeth, final answer. Do you have the headgear? 
Yes, I did. Well, your teeth came out great. You got $300. Going for $500. By definition, a translucent object allows what to pass through it? Electricity, water, air, light. Um, the answer is D, light. Final answer. You got $500. Going for $1,000. According to the title of the 1985 Tears for Fears song, everybody wants to do what? Sell their soul, make a difference, rule the world, find somebody. Well, I was in high school during that time, and it was C, rule the world. Final answer. You know that one. You got it for $1,000. about ruling the world, but you're sitting on top of the world right now. You got a thousand going for two thousand, all those lifelines still intact. Yes. Which of these islands shares its name with a popular computer language? Java, Malta, Crete, Cyprus. Well, I know that when I'm on the web a lot, I need to have something to play Java. So the answer would be A. Final? Final answer. There you go again, you got 2,000. Go for 4,000. A single term for members of the U.S. House of Representatives lasts how many years? Two, four, six, eight. Single term. I believe the answer is A, two years. Final answer. I believe you're right, $4,000. Deborah, you're going for $8,000 here. Eight away. Most of the over 800 known Dead Sea Scrolls are written in what language? Greek, Hebrew, Latin, Sanskrit. I'm leaning towards D. So. Well, you have your lifelines. You need them. I think I'd like to use the. 50-50 Okay, computer, please randomly take away two wrong answers, leaving one wrong answer and the right one. Well, the one you were leaning toward is gone. I know, it's thank goodness. Hebrew uh, or Latin? I think I'm, just to make sure, I'm going to call a friend. Okay. Okay? And I'd like to call Jason. Jason? Mm-hmm. Okay, our friends at AT&T are going to help us get Jason on the line. Hello? Jason? Yes. It's Meredith from Millionaire. How are you? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Good. Well, you know, I'm sitting here with Deborah and she needs your help. Okay, great. She's got four thousand, she's going for eight thousand dollars. Okay. Deborah, you have thirty seconds and your time starts right now. Okay. Jason, most of the over eight hundred known Dead Sea Scrolls are written in what language? Two choices left. Hebrew or Latin. You have twenty seconds. Oh boy. Scrolls. 12 seconds. I'm leaning towards Hebrew. Okay. But I'm not, uh, not for sure. Six seconds. If I was to guess, I'd say Hebrew. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Not too sure, but he said if he was going to yeah, venture a guess, Hebrew. it'd be um, Hebrew. I'm going to choose B. Hebrew. Hebrew. Final answer. Well, he wasn't too sure, but... He was right. You got it for $8,000. Deborah has $8,000. She's going for $16,000. Thank you so much. Deborah, you're going to have to go to the We are back with Deborah McBride from Tulsa, Oklahoma. It says here you have dichromatic eyes. Mm -hmm. Now, that's eyes of two different colors. Mm -hmm. I was born with two blue eyes, and when I was in high school, I had surgery on one eye, and a few years later, it started to change colors. It's now green, and it's going to hazel, and they think maybe it'll go all the way brown. Was it like a mood ring or something? It well, changes to the... You know, if I wear a blue outfit, it's blue. If I wear a green outfit, it's green. And, you know, yeah, it's a little bit of a mood outfit. And how about if you win a million dollars? Actually, I think they'll both be really big. <laughs> <laughs> but you have lenses in right now, so they're both, yeah. they both they're read both as blue. blue today. Well, mm -hmm. they, they're gorgeous, whatever color they are. Thank you. And you've got 8,000. You're going for 16,000. You have one lifeline left. You can still ask our brilliant audience. I think they are to. brilliant. Are you ready to play? Mm -hmm. All right, then let's play. The 
U.S. tested its first atomic bomb in 1945 near what location? Amchitka, Alaska, Hattiesburg, Mississippi, Alamogordo, New Mexico, Farmington, Colorado. Amchitka, Alaska, Hattiesburg. I think I'm going to use my final lifeline and ask You want to ask the audience? Audience, Deborah needs your help. Using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Okay, 93% think it's Alamogordo, New Mexico. I had thought that it was probably New Mexico, but I wasn't definite on that. So I think I am going to go with the audience and choose C as my final answer. Well, I'm glad somebody here is smart. It ain't me. You got it right. All right, Deborah. Going for $32,000. Okay, this is a big one. Gene All's 2002 book, The Shelters of Stone, continues the series that began with what 1980 novel? The Clan of the Cave Bear, The Name of the Rose, Mistral's Daughter, The Lonesome Gods. She's one of my favorite authors. So it would be A, Clan of the Cave Bear. Final answer. It pays to read, doesn't it? You got $32,000. I'm so excited. Well, I got be. to that. You can't walk away with less than 32,000. No, it's wonderful. It is. Your eyes are getting big. They're getting big. Okay. Let's go for 64,000. A turophile is a gourmet who specializes in what kind of food? Caviar, fruit, chocolate, cheese. Mm. Turophile. I think I'm going to choose D, but I'm really not sure, so this is my free guess. So Absolutely. D is my final answer. I'm actually told that in Greek, the word for cheese is touros. You are correct. <laughs> that you had no idea that it I was had cheese. no idea that 64 I knew if I got to 32,000 I'd have a free guess on 64,000 and and I cook and I, I didn't know I couldn't believe I didn't know so you what does this money mean to you it just a lot of different things you know travel a little bit you know spend some time with my mom spend some time with your mom mm -hmm. maybe work on your book I know you're writing a novel do some of that too you know possibly um you know, working on the book, that's going to happen whether I, you know, I have money or not. But this would just make it so much more fun because, you know, maybe my mom and I could travel to Italy. Yeah. Oh, then, well, let's get you to Italy, okay? And back. We've got 64000 going for 125000 You ready to play? I'm ready. All right, let's go. <laughs> Queen Victoria's 1840 wedding is credited with popularizing what tradition? Tossing a bouquet, white bridal gown, Throwing rice, flower girls. Queen Victoria in 1840. I know that around 1812, it was popular to have wedding gowns in yellow, in jonquil yellow. But I also know that tossing a bouquet, um, the Victorians were very proud of, you know, flower language. So that's a po possibility. Um, you risk 32000 if you get it wrong, but if you get it right, you're three away from a million. You've got 125000 You know, I think I could live with myself if I got it wrong, though, because I think it's a white gown. Because I would still get 32000 and that's a lot of money. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Are you saying you couldn't live with yourself if you had it right and didn't go for it? Well, I, you know, I could live with myself either way, uh -huh. so... So I am going to answer this, and I'm going to answer B, final answer. 
I really don't want you to cry at this point because you said you're going to take your mom, but your eyes must be aching. They're so big. You have 125,000. <laughs> Yeah, because I don't want you to... You okay? Yeah. All right. Three away from a million. Here's the question. For $250,000. In 1844, Samuel Morse transmitted the first telegraph message from Washington, D.C. to what U.S. city? Baltimore, Philadelphia, Newark, Richmond. You know, I can eliminate two of them, but I can't eliminate the other two. I don't think I can. I think I'm going to walk away. Final decision. Final. Yes. Okay. A lot of money, Deb. If you had to take a guess, you dropped it down to two, what would you guess? I would have guessed Baltimore. You would have guessed Baltimore? You would have been right. Oh. But you have $125,000. You're a fantastic contestant. So nice of her. So nice to meet you. You're in newspaper reduction, and you can really stretch a million dollars, I understand, because you know how to spend money wisely. Oh, well, I'm the garage sale queen, so I could um, spend a million dollars on a lot of stuff. What's the best deal you've ever gotten at a garage sale? Um, the best deal probably was a brand new dishwasher for five bucks. That's excellent. That so you're excellent. a smarty. I'm lucky. All right, well, I hope you're lucky with the game. So, you, me too. You know the rules, <laughs> and you know the lifelines? Yes. You ready to play? I hope so. Okay, let's play Millionaire. For $100, Julia, in the nursery rhyme, Ring Around a Rosy, what is full of posies? Pocket, saucer, pillow, vegetarian calzone. Um, pocket, final answer. Yes, for $100. We're going for $200. What metal is most commonly used to make cans for soft drinks? Nickel, aluminum, copper, iron. B, aluminum, final answer. Yes, again for $200. Going to $300. Nicorette is a chewing gum designed to help consumers kick what habit? Um, Overeating, nail biting, drinking alcohol, smoking cigarettes. Um, that would be D, smoking cigarettes. Final? You got it for $300. Going for $500. Boston's Bull and Finch Pub was the inspiration for what popular TV sitcom setting? Happy Days, Cheers, Murphy Brown, Alice. B, Cheers, final answer. I will drink to that. You got it for 500. Go for 1,000. The expression for Madonna comes from an Italian phrase meaning what? First lady, highest voice, best gift, last song. A, first lady, final answer. Yes, for $1,000. Going for $2,000, Julia. Which of these vehicles is a type of dirigible? Sleigh, submarine, blimp, subway train? C, blimp, final answer. Yes, you got it again for $2,000. Oh, that sound is the saddest sound in the world. Because that means that we are out of time, but we will be back tomorrow. I promise. From New York, everybody. Bye -bye. Don't just watch. Play at home. Get your own game now at gsn.com slash shop. Bingo rules. Yeah! Because winning rocks. Of course. And bingo rocks. True. Because winning rules. Yes, it is true. So if you like bingo. Thank you. And you love winning. Please. Play along with Bingo America and you can rock your way to the bank. Wow. Go 
to GSN.com to print your cards for your chance to win. Oh, aren't you crazy?